we want to apply ortho SUV frame at femur supracondylar deformity. You see we have pre-assembled the rings and inserted the half pins and wires specially for this deformity. This is a classical assembly of rings and transosseous elements for supracondylar deformity of the femur. Now we have to attach the struts. We start struts assembling from strut number one. At first we take a straight plate and attach it to one of the holes. Then we take a nut and attach it to the hole by such a way that the plate's finger pass through the groove into the nut. And we fix this connection by a bolt. Then we tighten it by 12 mm range. Then we have to attach a strut to the fixed straight plate by the tail of the strut and we tighten 12 mm nut which is on the tail. The threaded rod of the first strut and the strut length changing unit, it is yellow card corpus must be placed by such a way to follow the watch rule and the logo rule. The threaded rod is coming to the joint from the left distal and the strut lens changing unit crosses it above and goes to the right down. The label is faced externally relative to the ring. Then we have to attach strut number 2 to the distal ring. We take a straight plate and attach it to one of the holes. Then we take a nut and attach it to the hole by such a way that the plate's finger passes through the groove into the nut. And we fix this connection by a bolt. And then we tighten it by 12 mm range. Then we attach the second strut to the fixed plate. First, we have to insert the threaded rod of the second strut through the strut lens changing unit of the first strut. Then we attach the joint of second strut by its tail to the fixed straight plate and fix it by 12 mm nut. Then we tighten this connection. While assembling the struts, we don't forget to follow the watch rule and logo rule. Now we have to attach the third strut. This strut is to be attached to the proximal ring. We have preassembled it by Z-shaped plate because the space between the rings is too small and the Z-shaped plate helps us to Fix the strut to the rings. First, we have to insert the threaded rod of the third strut into the strut length changing unit of the strut number 2. Then, we insert the finger of the Z shaped plate into one of the holes on the rings and we fix it by a nut and a bolt. Fixation is made the same as when we fix the straight plates, and the bolt and the nuts are also the same. Then we have to tighten this connection by uh, 12 millimeters range. You see how it is made. Now we have to attach strut number 4. This strut is to be attached to the distal ring. We have also preassembled it by Z-shaped plate. First, we insert the threaded rod of the strut into the strut lane changing unit of strut number 3. Then we fix Z-shaped plate to the ring by nut and a bolt. Pay attention, then when we fix this Z-shaped plate, we 
directed below the rim. In when we fix strut number three, we directed the zeshi plate of the strut above the rim. It gives us more space. Now you see we fix this connection by 12 millimeters range. Now we have to attach the fifth strut. This strut is to be attached to the proximal ring. We have enough space between the rings in this area to fix the strut directly to the ring. First, we remove the 12 mm nut from the tail of the joint of the strut. Then we insert the threaded rod of the strut into the strut line changing unit of strut number 4. Then we insert the tail of the joint uh, of this rod into the hole in the ring and we fix this connection by 12 millimeters nut. Then we tighten this connection by 12 millimeters range. Now we have to attach strut number 6. This strut is to be attached to the distal ring. We have enough space between the rings to Fix the strut direct, directly to the ring. First, we insert the threaded rod of this strut into the strut line changing unit of strut number 5, and we insert the threaded rod of the first strut into the strut line changing unit of uh, strut number 6. Then we insert the threaded tail of the joint of strut number th 6 into the uh, hole of the ring, and we fix it by uh, the nut. Then we fix this connection by 12 millimeters range. Then we have to tighten nuts and connection of the assembled strut. We use two 12 millimeters ranges when we tighten connection of struts joint with a plate or a ring. And when we want to tighten the bolts fixing the plates, we use one wrench. We have to tighten all these connections between the struts and the rings. Then we have to insert the connector nuts into the strut length changing unit. For this purpose, we transfer the connector nuts along the threaded rods into the body of strut length changing unit. Then we fix the screw number one by Allen key. You see how it is made. As soon as the screw is fixed, we transfer the lock nut along the threaded rod and tighten it by 12 mm range. Then we transfer locking nut which is on the thread of the strut length changing unit and we also, also fix this locking nut. We have to make such procedure with all the connector nuts and lock nuts of all the struts. So we do it very accurately and precisely.
Now the frame is assembled and you can see that we have attached the struts properly because we have followed the logo rule. You see, the logo SUV of strut number 2 is faced externally. The same you can see with the logo of strut number 3, number 4 and all other struts. It means that our frame is made properly and it will work.